Robert Montague, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Montague is out of the cabinet right now. Shocking, 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 breaking news right now coming out of Jamaica. Robert Montague is out of the cabinet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, another corrupted politician got taken out by a investigation agency. And we are going to talk about that right now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Deep Roots TV. Yeah, real free youths TV. Greetings, 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 yeah, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari, soldier of Deep Roots TV. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in to Deep Roots TV, yeah, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Greetings, greetings. And we're going to have a great relationship. Yes, we're talking greetings. about corrupted politicians. Deep Roots, man. How you guys doing out there? We're having a Today, good time, man. We're riding for a lot of LPs. TV. Shocking, shocking news coming out of Jamaica right now. Robert Montague. The Western St. Mary Member of Parliament and Chairman of Ruling Jamaica Labour Party has tendered his resignation as a member of the cabinet with immediate effect. Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen, immediate effect. The beleaguered Minister without portfolio in Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation has undergone an intense public scrutiny over a series of development across numbers of portfolio he held in Andrew Holness led Jamaican Labour Party, where he served in the agriculture, fishery, national security, and transportation mining before recently demoting to handling numbers of aspects of the MEGJC portfolio. News emerged earlier this week of the reports out of the Integrity Commission and this cited that number of instances in which Manticue, as National Security Minister, reportedly approved the granting of gun license for a number of persons who the Fire License Authority, the FLA, had redlined as being not fit and proper to hold the license. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear that? It says that Montague, as the National Security Minister, reportedly approved granting of license for a number of persons, with an S, who the Firearm Licensing Association had redlined as being not fit and proper to hold licensing. These are serious, serious allegations. Especially in our time where we have such an influx of our young youths dying in the street by gun violence. You're telling me that the security minister the National Security Minister are approving gun license to people that the firearm licensing authorities said they were not fit and proper to get licensing. These investigation detailed developments in each instant which revealed in the Firearms License Association report, which also cited report questionable actions by other former security minister Peter Bountin and former FLA deputy board chairman Dennis Meadows. Montague meet with Holness late Friday evening and tendered his resignation 
to the Prime Minister. In a concise statement late Friday night, Holdness signaled that Montague had exited the cabinet. He stated, late this evening, Friday, I met with Minister Robert Montague, who tendered his resignation with immediate effect, Holdness said in a brief statement. The statement said Montague expressed that he was very happy to have been a part of the highest level of government. It was a privilege to have had that opportunity. Prior to his latest damning outline relative to the aspect his stewardship as a cabinet minister, Montague came under sharp public scrutiny in relations to controversial contract awarding procedures at the Clarendon Aluminum Product, which handled the government 45% share of the operation of Jamalco Backside Aluminum Company in Clarendon. Questionable investment of the public's fund in private enterprise by the airport's authority of Jamaica and a hugely problematic used car purchase deal for the police force. All three of these later issues remain unsolved. A stem of corruption is in the Jamaican government. And for years we have been hearing this and for years we have been denying it. It's time that we have a public oversight for these politicians because the politician them not oversee themselves right now Andrew Holness is trying to save face behind closed doors right now because his party is showing the same corruption that they claim to be stamping out ladies and gentlemen now, under further investigation, the JFJ, which is the Jamaica Jamaicans for Justice, has called on Prime Minister to Prime Minister Andrew Holness, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, to demonstrate to the country that the government is serious about tackling corruption, crime by making comprehensive change to the Firearms and Licensing Authority. The organization in a release said that it note the recognition of one former National Security Minister, Robert Montague, from his current cabinet post, the leader of the opposition is argued to the following suit, asking the former National Security, Peter Bounty, opposition current spokesman on the security and leading of the business opposition to relinquish his official duty also with the Senate pending further investigation of the JFJ stated the release. The allegations levied against the public officials outlined the recent Integrity Commission Report, special report of investigation allegation concerns act improperly in inquiring on the com corruption in the Institute of the Firearms User License and to persons of questionable characters, suggesting clear intent in the instance of excessive overreach that determined that it undermined the legitimate crime fighting effort JFJ suggested. The JFJ lamb blasted the government for what can only be described as state sanctioned criminality, where public officials are alleged to be involved in issuing gun permit to known criminals. The JFJ condemned that the stinks of the corruption that plagued the FLA must end. the unsavory act by the public officials as described in the commission's report 
undermines the morality authority to effect criminal fighting measures. It is critical that further, further investigations are undertaken by the major organization, the anti-corruption agents, and the financial investigation division, which will determine the level of culpability and whether charges or sanctions should be levied on the former minister, the release stated. The organization in the release said that it welcomed the commission decision to refer to the matter involving the Dennis Meadows to directors of corruption prosecution for review to decide whether to pursue charges per the Corruption Prevention Act following allegations in the granting of firearm license to relatives with a known criminal background. Wow! We hope the DCP, which is the Deputy Commission of Prosecutor, review the matter and take any action she deems necessary, said the FJFJ in a release. The organization charged that the an announcement made by the Prime Minister in February regarding proposed firearm application procedure, eligibility criteria, process, board appointment, and ministerial curtailment are simply underwhelming given that they undefined and not clear legislative reform outline. In other words, the process for the application of firearms and the eligibility criteria are not clearly stated in legislative reform or outline so people don't know who are going to get what. So basically, them set it up where it's a vague requirement and you have to buy your license. You are going to them think they have one long time in my island. They also do not address the core issue of inference to up, up, uprise of power or, well, it's the same thing I'm saying. They don't basically clarify or curtail the ability for people of power of higher agencies to get weapons and give it to somebody else. Further, there need to be a real change to addressing the systematic corruption, the release said. The JFJ, therefore, renew its call for the FLA to be completely removed from executive control with agency being a body of parliament and the board members appointed by the governor general following constitutional with both the leaders of the opposition and the prime minister, notable a body of parliament would still require curtailment of ministerial interference. The current review of the Firearms Act by parliament should be open to public constitutional so that it can be recommended in its full vigilancy so it can be transparent. Further, there is no clear-cut provision in the Firearm Act to provide a proper revoke, revoke questionable grant of a firearm user's license. This needs urgent reform, the release said, as the Parliament also reviewed the Integrity Commission Act and the Protected Disclosure Whistleblower Act. We trust that they will accept recommendation of developing a broad and comprehensive anti-corruption legislation that will address issues of bribery, conflicts of interest, and state broad appointment. JFJ is an agreement with the Prime Minister, suggesting of the fit and proper criteria for the FLA board member. We submit further, however, that a similar process be extended to cabinet members and senators, along with each member of the House receiving ethical and integrity training in accordance with international standards and parliamentary tradition and rules, said the release from JFJ. Now, this is a, a shocking, shocking report, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. 
a shaking of the trust of the people in the government of Jamaica. Not say we did trust them before, but people, 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 could they get any more evil? Like Kranich said, a government that invent crime. Imagine what I'm hearing on my line. You are guaranteed. I cannot believe the head of the security of Jamaica, Ministry of Security, my name Robert Montague, you are guaranteed a issue totally to people that the Firearms License Association deemed to be not proper. To get weapon, people are issue weapon to family members. A nastiness and corruption going on in my government here in Jamaica. A long time we are tell you, it's the constituents that are making the guns come true. Like the other day, the 21 gun will come true. And I know normal people are sending 21 gun people and 2,000 around. Where do I get it from? Your gun T are some high official. Some people with some big money. Like them say, rich badness. Badness update. Well, the government them get catch now. See there? See there? Ministry of Security. See him there? Robert Montague up in the cabinet him there. Like him a highly tool in the cabinet. You are going to tea. Him a give him family member and people that the Firearms License Association said they are deemed improper. They can't get no license. Where does your money do? Dash out license give them. I am calling for those weapons to come back in as a citizen of Jamaica. And I want them ballistic to find out if they have been using any illegal criminality. And I'm asking for the Deputy Commission of Prosecution in the area they are Jamaica to charge these people. Because that's the only way you will gain trust again from the people. When we see some big boy get put down and charged, I've never heard nobody in the settlement, in the parliament, any one of them meant that none of them get charged for illegally putting firearms, running dope, or any of that. Embezzlement, who no need to make them pay. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear what the Rastafari man say. Hit that red subscribe button and let me know what you think. Should Robert Montague get a criminal trial? Should he be charged? Greetings, you greetings. Mean? Yes, you mean greetings. The top sex security hey, minister. I give out illegal gun. The whole thing done. Not even to the government, the people them can run. But that them are commit the biggest crime in a jam down. Lava upon them people. Lava.